guys, namaskar, feel the heart. Welcome back once again into another presentation of learning and talking about Hindi. And uh, today we're now going to talk about uh, some Hindi relations rather than we're going to talk about a question actually. Uh, it has been often asked to me uh, by many people that uh, uh, if I learn Hindi language, is it going to help me to learn other languages as well? So that's the question and I have given a really nice answer and I, in fact actually I'm going to make a blog post on it. So link will be given in the description box below. Go through that and read everything. So before learning, uh, before, before talking about this, you know, uh, I just want to talk a little bit the benefits of learning Hindi, you know. Not only in the prospect of language, uh, but also overall what are the benefits of learning Hindi. So this video is more like a, what are the benefits of learning Hindi, okay? So I have listed a few things here, okay? Oh, shit. <laughs> uh, so the first benefit of learning Hindi. Hindi is fourth most spoken language in the world, okay? Over 400 people in this world speak Hindi, okay? And in India, more than 41% speaks Hindi. So you can see how big population is, is speaking Hindi and the, and the number of uh, Hindi learners is increasing every day. As you see, the evolution of internet has brought a huge, huge uh, uh, impact on Indian people, especially. They are globalizing all over the world. Air, water, and Indians are found everywhere these days, okay? And it, it will be more visible in future. You will see people, uh, Indian people everywhere these days. And, and, and this thing is going to be more in future, not less, okay? And, uh, of course, uh, as Indian economy, I guess it's second most fastly growing economy in the world so fastest growing economy it means like lots of opportunities for the western people for the other people as well to come in india invest their time invest their uh, personality uh, profession whatever you know you will be get really nice paid here you know if you work in india you're gonna save a lot of money same time compared to other because living is li comparatively i would say it's more affordable in living here and you will save a huge money because salaries are really growing so fast and especially when western people come they are having a really nice salary here anyways so the point is somehow you're gonna be connected with indian people in future more and more that's for sure you're watching this video today and see after three or four years or after five years you're gonna remember my words and my face maybe <laughs> so yeah so if you want to have a deeper connection with the indian people you have to learn Hindi, okay? You have to speak Hindi, you know? English probably will affect their brain, but if you speak Hindi, you're gonna touch their heart. So make a deeper connection by learning Hindi. This is very important. Some bird is chirping here. Very nice. By the way, I'm, I'm in my mom's house here now in Biratnagar, Nepal, making this video. Uh, soon I'm going to be, I'm, I'm leaving for Delhi. So I actually made a really nice post here. You gotta really check out, uh, okay? So. Next thing about the travel and like tourism things, if you see like Indian culture, you know, uh, the religious thing, spiritual thing is very famous among uh, Western people as well as uh, other part of the world, middle, I guess like in many part of the world, you know, like Indian culture, language of course is beautiful, uh, it's incredible, colorful, it's beautiful, everything is nice, so a lot of travelers come in India to explore, things are cheaper as well, you know, if you are really uh, travel geek then come India, come Nepal, come this part of the world, like this Asia. Okay, Asia is really very affordable to travel. So, and India is one of the really nice places to travel around. Okay, so in these places, uh, if you speak Hindi, that's gonna be awesome, you know, because I told you already, like more than 41% people speak Hindi in India, and uh, not only in India, you know, even in Nepal, people don't understand you Hindi. Not so cool, but they will understand. Like many people will understand. Maybe they are not so good in speaking, but they will understand. Similarly, you go to, uh, if I guess, uh, Bangladesh. Also, people speak Pakistani. They speak Urdu, and Urdu is pretty much same like, like Hindi. You know, so a problem. So you see, like a lot of things are coming up. You know, and uh, if you want to explore about like culture, religious thing about India, then Hindi is definitely the main gate. You have to enter through that Hindi language gate. You know. Until you don't cross that barrier, you are not going to be able to learn those things, okay? If you want to really get in touch with the real stuff, with the original stuff, the only through is Hindi and Sanskrit, okay? Yeah, like if you want to really explore the oldest language, oldest cultural things, Vedas and those everything, you know, uh, this is going to be really 
helpful, okay? You know, Hindi language is really poetic language. You have to understand one thing. So your poetic uh, examination can be checked in Hindi language, how much poetic you are. <laughs> well, um, now let's talk about how Hindi language will help you to learn other type, other, other languages that is found uh, in India as well as in the Indian subcontinental region, okay? I have made a small list, okay? The first is the oldest language I will talk about in the eastern side if you come, it's Sanskrit, okay? Sanskrit is the mother of all languages that you will find in Indian subcontinental region, okay? So, the, the, the writing style Sanskrit use is called Devanagari script, and the same script we use in Hindi. Even a little less, less part, not the whole, but only a few things we leave, otherwise everything we have adapted from Sanskrit to Hindi. So, learning Hindi will definitely enable you to learn Sanskrit, and then you go to the spiritual world and religious stuff of Hinduism, and whatever you want, you know? So, like, Learning one of the oldest languages is a proud in itself, right? So yeah, and next thing is Nepali. Nepali people speak Nepali language, but Nepali language and Hindi language is quite similar. Many words are similar. I will I will say like 25 to 30 percent it's same, okay? And words are pronounced a little differently. And uh, we have the same writing system again, Devanagari script, okay? So if you know. Uh, Hindi, you can travel in India, uh, sorry, in Nepal, somehow, you don't have to, I mean, it's always better if you learn Nepali here, you know, but uh, I, I would say like many people understand Hindi here, so it, it's gonna be easy, it's not gonna be worse like English, okay, like in, if you're in Kathmandu or in cities, people speak English, many people speak English here, not good, but yeah, you know, okay. But always, I mean, that's what I'm saying, like, it's a petty fail. Uh, learning Hindi will help you in learning Nepali for sure, because script is same, and 20 to 30% words are also same, okay? Because all are, like, invented from, originated from, uh, rooted are, uh, all these languages are rooted in Devanagari, ah, oh, fuck, in Sanskrit language, okay? Next one is Gujarati, yes. Their script is also pretty much same, a little bit, like, curvy things, like a girl curve. <laughs> I'm just kidding. Emma. Oh. <laughs> anyway, so... Little, I see like, you know, that's twisted up, but the, the, they are also using the Devanagari script. They don't give the upper line, and only a few differences are there I have found. And even the words are pretty much similar, like in Hindi, okay? Because all are originated from Devanagari, so if you want to learn Gujarati, and if you're learning now Hindi, that's going to help you. Next one is Bengali, okay? If you want to learn Bengali, again, like a lot of words in Bengali language and Hindi language is similar, right? So, uh, though Bengali use different script, so many words are similar in Bengali language. Similarly, like uh, Bhojpuri and Avadi language, they are pretty much Hindi, a different form of Hindi. You know, I, I, when I was reading about the evolution of Hindi language, cut, which came into an action around uh, 1180. So, Prakrit language and those things, if you learn, you don't have to learn those things. But I'm just saying, like, you know, if you, if, if you, uh, some relatives or friends are from Bihar and UP, from those reasons, if they speak Bhospuri, Maithili, or, uh, you know, Avadi language, then uh, this is going to help you. Same in Punjabi, lots of words of Hindi you'll see there. Urdu, definitely another, like one of the biggest languages uh, that, like, you know, like, as I was going through the history of that, you know, so uh, there were two types of the, uh, uh, do I really have to go? So, you can say like Urdu and Hindi got separated in, in in recent time, not not a long time, okay. So the Islamic poet made Urdu is a, like a, a, a version of Islamic poet. Actually, you know, Islamic poets, a lot of names, are, lots of great poets. They 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 uh, give a different shape. They take Hindi to the different languages. Are, it will flow away. You know, it's just a just like my friend Chris say. Like it's like 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 a music. Music languages are pretty much same. You know, so you can flow them. It, it has its own way of living, you know. It, the language over the period of time, it becomes easier and easier because they don't want to go the complex things. Just how I want to say, like, the Urdu and Hindi are not so different, not so different, because they all have evolved from some, like, the same place, okay? So, not, I'm not going to talk about here the difference between Urdu and Hindi, but just I'm saying, like, learning Hindi will definitely level you learn Urdu, though they use now different script, okay? You'll see, when you see Bollywood movies, you're gonna see lots of Urdu and Hindi. Like, there are lots of benefits of learning Hindi language. So if you think there are some more benefits of learning Hindi language, and if you have something more to talk about this, about Hindi language, anything, then let's just start conversation. Let's just start interacting in the comment section, and 
if you're watching this from the blog post, let's do there, all right? I'll be there, you'll be there. So let's talk about this and uh, let's clear each other's doubt and uh, let's, let, 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 let's talk about Hindi, simply, right? Because uh, I'm a Hindi guy. <laughs> uh, lots of people say like a Hindi guy from the next to your door. All right, so guys, if you like this video, please don't forget to subscribe me on the YouTube and uh, catch me also on Facebook and Twitter. I will see you guys in the next video. Till then, bye bye.